Hi, I'm Eric Erb, and this is The Eric Erb Show. Go to TheEricHerbShow.com. You can find us all over the net and on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash The Eric Erb Show. Today, I want to talk to you about something that's uh, been on my mind for a couple days, and that is with... Uh, Iran and Iran launching missiles at our bases in Iraq. Uh, all the missiles, I believe they launched, the media was saying they only launched a dozen. Well, the truth, if, if the truth be known, they launched more like 20. Uh, two missiles had did not uh, even hit. They landed in the sand. Um, for that matter, all the missiles landed in the sand, but um, I guess uh, um, the missiles, the remaining missiles, everything landed in the sand, and nothing nothing hit their target. They were just trying to send America a warning. Well, they have a funny way of sending it, but uh, let's thank God that all of our troops were safe and nobody got harmed. I guess that's the most important thing. Nobody got harmed. Uh, no uh, Iraqis or no uh, U.S. soldiers, no military personnel, and thank God of that. I just want to say, uh, with President Trump uh, deciding to go through a cooling off period a little bit here with Iran, since I, Iran had launched all them uh, um, missiles and uh, he, he took a step back, which that tells me uh, President Trump is really, really thinking. There, there's a lot of people out there. There's a lot of deep staters. There's a lot of people out there um, that's in President's, President Trump's cabinet still. They're just, uh, they're warmongers. All these people want is this friggin' war all the damn time. And uh, President Trump knows that. And uh, uh, it took a lot of uh, strength to be able to pull back on something like that ever since the uh, extermination, and I use that uh, by choice, the extermination of Soleimani, the general there, uh, Iran's top general that was uh, assassinated. Uh, I'd rather say a terminated than assassinated. I know the media is going crazy and they're saying that uh, Soleimani was uh, assassinated. He wasn't assassinated. He was terminated. Uh, the guy was the guy was uh, nothing but a scumbag. Uh, he was a hero to some, mainly in the Iran military, uh, the Republican Guard, and and uh, he was running um, Hezbollah. He was running all kinds of different. Uh, operations for Iran and very close to the mullahs over there and very close to the Ayatollah. Him and the Ayatollah were almost uh, described like a father-son relationship. Um, my question is now uh, that that's done. He's, he's not coming back. He's gone. <laughs> and now that President Trump has decided to cool off uh, and just take a deep breath, and, and I thank God for that. So where do we go from here? I guess that's my question. Um, is Iran going to be stupid enough and, and, and uh, uh, an idiot to launch missiles again and this time actually try to hit their frigging targets? Um, what's going to happen? No, nobody seems to know. Uh, the Iranian people, the Arab mind sometimes is more emotional than logical. Sometimes the Arab mind gets uh, caught up in a situation, uh, having worked with, uh, worked with, and worked for um, Arabic people in the past. Uh, sometimes they get caught up in a situation, they get too emotional, and they don't have that logic where they can step back and just say, "Okay, we need to take a deep breath," because you know, if if we wanted to, and President Trump gave the word. We could go in there, and within 48 to 72 hours, Iran would be a fucking parking lot, okay? Iran would be nothing but a fucking parking lot. There would be nothing there but sand. We could take out the entire, just about the entire country, uh, I give, within 72 hours or less. Uh, we have that firepower. We have that capability. We're the number one 
military, the strongest military in the whole entire world. Nobody will fuck with us unless they are stupid, unless they are a total asshole. And of course, there are there are some dictators. You have Kim Jong Un uh, over in North Korea. Uh, he's kind of retarded, I think. He he thinks that he has his little rockets that are actually going to do something. Uh, they don't do it. They, they, they won't cut it. They, they would be lucky to uh, reach a U.S. controlled land such as Guam, if we're lucky, uh, needless to say. They don't have anything that's really going to uh, do any major damage. We could take them out easily as well. And uh, Iran, unfortunately, again, they've been saying this for 30 or 40 years, death to America, death to America. Uh, they will learn their lesson uh, probably the hard way. Um, I hope not, and I pray not. And uh, I just thank God President Trump's in the White House right now and not Hillary Clinton. Because if Hillary Clinton was in the White House right now, uh, I don't think I'd be doing this podcast. We would be at war. So that's something to think about. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions. Uh, this is Eric Erb from The Eric Erb Show, signing off.